So I'm working on a blog post for Division 8 door hardware and accessories, and I wanted to elaborate on a few things uh, that are just easier to demonstrate in a video. So here we're looking at uh, some custom tools that I have over here. I mentioned those in the blog post. Uh, and then also I have some placed out here already. So in some of these areas, you'll notice the blue mark. Uh, those are hollow metal doors on some of these stairways and electrical rooms and things like that. Um, I have those placed and down in the markups list, you'll see that each of those are in here as well. And I've already gone in and updated each of the openings um, in here manually, but I wanted to show you how you can update um, several of these parameters at the same time. To back up a second, um, I also talk in the blog post about custom columns. So in here, I've created a bunch of custom columns to match the um, estimating software. I think the name of it is ComSense for um, door hardware. And basically created all of these to match what goes into ComSense. So when we export all of our markups, uh, we're able to take that uh, Excel file, convert that into a text file and then import that into ComSense. So that's the reason we have this all laid out the way that we do to kind of uh, build it out visually in Bluebeam and then import it into the estimating software with all the data. So here I'll show you guys how to very quickly um, update a lot of these parameters at the same time. So I'm just coming into my markups list down here, holding my shift key down and selecting all of these. And then if you'll notice, I can go over to my properties, scroll down a little bit, and all of these parameters are in here. So uh, if I scroll down a little further, you can see all of those custom columns. So uh, let's go in here. The openings I've already done, those are individual for each individual door. But globally, uh, is this an exterior door or an interior door? So exterior, no. Um, opening type. I can come in and select, and these were all uh, choices that were in this in ComSense. So I don't remember what these meant, but um, we're just going to select a few and you'll notice how it's updating all of those at the same time. So I can come in here, um, update these. Maybe these are all 36 inch uh, selected door manufacturer. It's a metal door. So I built that in as a default for all of my metal door um, tools. So that automatically fills in. Uh, and then you can go through manufacturer for the frame. Um, what else do we have down here? Door thickness, we'll just put uh, two inch for all of those. But you get the idea. You can set all of those at the same time globally. Uh, the other way that we can do this, I'm going to show you guys um, how we place these. So this one here is a right-hand door. It swings open to the right. And so with those, I went through and updated all of my markups. You can see down here, this one's a wood door. So wood is the default for the door material. I updated a bunch of these parameters uh, with the fire rating, right-hand, inch-and-a-half door. And what I would do then, once I get all of those parameters updated, then I can just select this, hold down my control key, and drag that over to all of my right-hand doors. So I'm going to make a copy there and there. These are all left-hand. So I'm going to skip over, come back over here, select this again, hold my uh, control key down, copy this over on top of those right hand doors and so on you get the idea but when we look at the markups list down here you're going to see that now all of my wood doors have the matching parameters because i filled those in and then copied those and then what i would do is copy one of these down to here to that left hand switch this over to a left hand and then make those copies to all my left hand doors until I have everything accounted for. And you can see those. The other thing that you notice here is in our markups list for all of my 
wood doors, it's giving me a count of nine. So I get a count automatically along with all these parameters. So after we get all of those parameters set and we mark all of our doors, we can go in. And the other thing I wanted to point out is that I have these automatically put on layers. So if I go to my layers panel, uh, I can see I have all my wood frame, metal, and other doors in here. If I turn off other, uh, it's going to hide those different markups there or hiding the metal doors. So I can go through and look at these um, in detail if I need to. So let's go ahead and export our markups list and show you what that looks like. I'm going to export this to a CSV. And I'm not going to mess around too much with the custom columns. You can set these up. Um, I want all of my custom columns to report. Um, I might filter and sort those by subject. My output, I'm going to have a CSV. Just go to my desktop. Um, in here, you want to make sure that you don't have your replies turned on. If you have any replies in here, we don't want those to be line items in our Excel file uh, because that will screw up the estimating import. So we're going to leave that off. Uh, you might want just markups instead of markups and totals, depending on, on how you want that Excel file to look. And then we're just going to say, OK. And this is going to open up here into Excel and you can see if I expand all of these all of those parameters for each door are in there so that's it for my door hardware uh, video you can check out the rest of the information on my blog post at uchapter2.com thanks